6 a.m. on Saturday, the nation's generation was 3,752 megawatts. This was grossly inadequate for transmission and distribution to households and businesses that also find it difficult to pay for alternative energy sources, petrol and diesel. Meanwhile, the governors of the 19 northern states met with traditional rulers from the region in Kaduna states to discuss critical issues affecting the north. The meeting was part of the Northern Governors Forum's efforts to engage key stakeholders and address pressing concerns, especially the lingering insecurity, poverty, out-of-school children, power outage, and other social economic challenges ravaging the region. The Chief of Defence Staff, General Christopher Mosa, briefed the governors on efforts by the military to tackle banditry, terrorism, and other security challenges bedeviling. The north. We must work with the federal government to ensure that fiscal policies are sensitive to the realities of the day. As we speak today, most of our northern states are in darkness due to vandalization of electricity transmission infrastructure. This not only underscores the vulnerability of critical infrastructure, but also the need to build additional transmission lines and diversify our energy supply so as to better connect our region and improve our energy resilience. We must scale up efforts to tackle the root causes of youth restiveness by investing in education, skills development, and job creation. Let us focus on creating pathways for the youth to channel their energy into productive ventures. All right, Majid, words cannot describe the economic impact of uh, the blackout that is affecting the North, the businesses, the economic impact. But tell me, what are the issues here? It's not only the North, but um, that's what I mean. You know, last week we, di we discussed this matter, I recall, on Monday, the collapse, the persistent collapse of the national grid. Um, Nobody does national grid any longer. Uh, you need to Very break true. down. You yes. need to break these things down. So that, see now, it's not only in the north now. Three zones, uh, three geopolitical zones, northwest, northeast, and southeast were affected with the loss of 448 megawatts because of the collapse of vandalization of Waterview, whatever they call it, of uh, the Uguaji Apri mm. line. I mean, that took power from the east to the north. So that's, but if we had broken down into smaller bits, yeah. if you don't have to, if you don't have the transmission company of Nigeria, we are housing the whole uh, uh, power into a grid before a I mean, this thing okay, talking about a decentralization. We need to decentralize, yeah. Okay. The national grid is not working. Now, this year alone, the national grid has collapsed. 12 times. But it has gone almost about 15 times now. Because there are some areas where you are supposed to have 24 hours electricity. The moment light goes off in that place, you know it is because of the national grid, and you get a, 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 a message from the... Um, System operator? Yeah, from the disco mm. serving you that mm. this is not due to their fault, but as a collapse of the national grid. Yes. And of course, if you are monitoring the national grid on X, mm. or formerly mm. Twitter, yes. you will see the amount of power that goes to the different discos. Exactly. At the point, you see zero in all the discos. Mm -hmm. Then it will start building up again. So this one, uh, this, uh, these two main lines, they tried to restart it. That's why the one that supplies the northeast, northwest, and the southeast. It keeps shutting down. And that's 448 megawatts. So it, it goes to show that the national grid is, I mean, they should break it down and decentralize. Now, businesses are suffering in that place. The other option of using diesel to power your uh, business oh. is not, you can't even oh. think of it because oh. if you oh. balloon your cost of exactly. production to um, up to about maybe 5,000%. Mm. Oh. So, and at a time like this, that the discos, or rather the NARC and the uh, power minister approved almost a 400% increment from uh, 67 Nine, 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 kilowatt yeah, per, uh, kilowatt hour, hour. per kilowatt hour so about to, 200. Two, to more than 200 mm -hmm. per kilowatt hour. That is when we are having 
uh, the national grid collapsing. Mm. Between April and now, it has collapsed more than eight times. And April, they, that thing took effect from April. So which shows that, I mean, there's something that is happening that they are not telling us. I heard that NMPC that is supplying most of them, the, the, content, yes. the, the, the gas and the con condensate, now they developed a new technology now that ensures that the, the gas that is going to those power stations mm. is now monitored. Before now, they were just paying whatever they like for okay. gas. So the, somebody was telling me that this collapse will continue because they cannot afford to pay for the gas that NMPC is supplying them now. So all these lies about uh, 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 a cockroach uh, uh, disrupting the, the uh, power line, it's, they are just mere uh, 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 stories. So the problem is that the NMPC being a limited nice. com liability company now, I mean, it's no more business as usual. If they supply you uh, X amount, X amount of uh, standard cubic feet mm. of uh, gas, mm. you will pay for it because they have a system now that monitors, unlike in the past where, I mean, you can get uh, 5 million cubic feet and you say it is 1 million. That 1 I million got. that came so, around. So all those things, as, and also the capacity of the national, any, any, any time the national grid goes above 5,000 megawatts, something will happen because... The capacity cannot hold more than that. Mm. So a lot of issues are involved. Mm. And the discos are still ripping us off. I'm pushing a lot of people to the so-called band A. Yeah, we are the asked the, what they are supplying. So even in Lagos, mm. it's, not the, it's not band A. So they should look at that. It's like uh, uh, the NARC and the minister just gave them a latitude to be, I mean, punishing Nigerians and uh, uh, shitting people. Okay. All right. Uh, it may come. Administrations have come and gone, gone yeah. but yet the problem still persists. Yeah. What is the solution? Perhaps the state of yeah, emergency. Yeah, 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 yeah. MJ has given a part of it, you know, that we must decentralize the national grid, and which is what is being practiced with Aba Power. Aba Power Limited is a ring is a ring fenced, you know, um, is a ring fenced uh, business, just supplying some local government, and this is in nine or eleven local governments in uh, Abia, Abia State. State okay. So they receive gas, you know, to generate and distribute power mm. without sending to the national grid. Okay. So what the problem they're having, like MJ said, is gas. That's why you see, even around Aba area, you know, which is their core business area, you know, they're having, you know, they, they, they have been slight disruptions, you know, okay. but the supply has been. The so this issue of pushing to the national grid needs to be revisited. Because you see, uh, the Lagos State government some years ago, you know, did, there was something they did, you know, where they were supplying, I don't know how they were generating the power, they were supplying from critical institutions they with power. Yeah. Now, that was a ring fence initiative. How they were generating the power, I don't know. But, you know, the fact that at least they were able to you know, um, ensure that there was a regular power, power supply, supply to critical institutions yeah, was a pointer. Sectarian. Was a pointer to the fact that you know, wait a minute, we can try something like this. You know, and now yeah. that you know, states have been given power over the electricity market. I think all options should be on the table. You can I see know, what's happening in Enugu State. Yeah, no, the Enugu State government, even Ondo State, even in Ondo State, uh, the Ondo State government sacked Benin Disco from Ondo South Territorial District. So what it means is that, you know, even Ekiti State yeah, Ekiti, is even... Generating is, about, five, yes. uh, about so, 5 megawatts. the thing is this, state governments should okay. just rise to the occasion. They should rise to the occasion. You see, if you are still they waiting... show the political way. Yeah, no, it's not, no, it's not just the political way. You see, the issue is this. Nigeria is a ripe market, you know, for different kinds of investment. But, you see, it cannot be the business as usual. You know, cash and carry type, you know. Okay. But it has to be driven by good thinking, such that, you know, for instance, like Lagos, only two discos serving Lagos is inadequate because Lagos has different kinds of needs. So you have to put those needs at different levels, you know, such that on no account should any industry suffer, suffer a downtime because downtime. of power. They don't need to start buying diesel. You know, it, 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 they will just simply pass the cost of their products to the consumers. Okay. Um, away from power, remember in that story, 
19 state governors in the north also visited the chief of defense staff. Yeah. I just want to know, what was the outcome of the meeting? Was it just all talk, no action, or a different ball game here? No, you know, the, the 19 state governors discussed security, mm. uh, banditry, and uh, what have you. And uh, the president directed the uh, minister of uh, defense to uh, relocate to uh, the north. And um, he has been visiting uh, the uh, command centers and uh, sharing up uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the security operatives there and uh, uh, giving the charge from the president to them that they need to up their ante. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, there has been a reduction in banditry, uh, kidnapping, and uh, these uh, uh, terrorism activities and so on. But we still need to do more. It's like these um, uh, characters, they have a way of... Um, when the heat is on them, they will slow down. So when you lose your guard a bit, then they, then they, 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 they go and strategize mm -hmm. and strike. So I think this momentum, uh, this momentum should be sustained, as especially now that the Northern governors are coming together. Of course, they spoke about um, the power supply and also uh, the security, uh, which um, uh, they said has affected both uh, issues affected the businesses. But security issue, uh, didn't allow most people to go back to the farms, mm. uh, which, I mean, and this is the uh, rainy season, and it will affect um, uh, productivity uh, uh, later in the year, don't, don't have this time, mm. uh, 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 next year. So uh, those are the uh, main, the two major reasons why okay. they met, and I think uh, the president has addressed one of the issues by saying, uh, by directing the Minister of um, uh, defense the to, chief of defense. Uh, the, okay. Yeah, the Minister of Defense. Minister to, of defense. Uh, yeah, to talk to uh, the defense chiefs while also relocating uh, to the theater uh, centers uh, where um, they have been doing, of course, a good job. The, the military have been doing a very good job, but they still need to do more in terms of strategizing and what have you. They still need to do more. But, Emeka, over the years, if we are to look at it, so maybe 13 years, we have tried different strategies. Kinetic, non-kinetic, we've tried different strategies, bombardment. Where are we getting it wrong? Are we getting it wrong? Or the, the fact that uh, security challenges all over the world are dynamic. The more solutions you try, the more they take on different forms. Is it because it's an asymmetric warfare? It's, That's not, just, why it's, it's not just being asymmetric. Uh, you know, don't forget that um, some of our neighbors are in a mess. Okay. So, yes, around the Sahel. Mm. So, of course, you know, the number of you know, um, terrorists who move around, freelance uh, terrorists who move around the Sahel, you know, across our porous borders, for instance, you know, uh, they, you know, it's a high number. So, the thing with these people is also that they, they, they look for things that you can call, quote-unquote, you know, soft targets, okay. like the electricity yeah. system. This thing had been on when the former president, Mohamed Buhari, was in power. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they were even bringing down uh, high yeah, tension transition stars in yeah. Daura, yeah. in his own hometown, in the president's hometown, to yeah. tell him that, look, you know, we mean business. We have come to your hometown. You know, they were bringing down transmission towers. Now, in doing this, they, you know, these guys, we, we, we must not just look at those, you know, ones where, who are arrested and look, you look tattered. All these guys, some of these things are also orchestrated, you know, by whom the security agencies will tell us. But what it shows is that if they can consistently keep Nigeria, you know, in an energy deficit, then they are also blocking uh, food supply, yeah. you know. So they know what they are doing is to just throw the nation into a tailspin and just destabilize the nation terribly. Because when you don't have energy, when you don't have food, the people will, you know, I, I mean, the people will not take it uh, lying down. Hmm. So I think, you know, God, the, the, the issue of a decentralization of the power of the power system is imperative, you know, such that the, these guys cannot, you know, just attack you know, attack uh, some transmission towers and then throw the whole nation into a mess. Yeah. Years, years back, 
whenever you had any downtime mm. in the national grid, you know, our farm station in uh, River State used to be the backup. Like backup. Yeah, yeah, it was like a backup, backup like a UPS. And, it will, and then, you know, and then the plant. Yes, it will bring it to throw power back into the system. So you wouldn't really notice that the you know that There's the grid stress had control. gone down. So I think you know um, it needs there, there needs to be a conversation around, around that how to remove this national grid of a thing, to so that even if there is any problem in uh, you know at any point. We can ha actually have we have backups Backup. here and there. not just from the not, not just from the uh, from the uh, Jenkos, but also alternative power sources. Yeah, rural, yeah. the uh, rural electrification yeah. agency just signed an agreement with four state governments and over forty you know uh, businesses in that sector. They just signed you know agreements yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. You know, so what needs to be done is such a way that. You know, like happens in some countries, you find out that when people have excess power from alternative energy, they can throw it into the system, okay. you know, and then back up the system. Let's elevate, you know, the way we solve problems okay. so that we don't find ourselves, you know, I mean, yeah. fighting the enemy with our hands, I, right I, to our back. I, I understand. Yeah. But we need to go on a quick break. And uh, when we return, we're going to be looking at, still talking about this issue, we'll be looking at the role poverty and illiteracy is playing in the fighter in this issue of insecurity 